a collection of stories from absolutely all over the world, from Congo to Colombia, from Sudan to Serbia to Burma. Small acts of resistance means basically that the most positive change in the world comes about from individuals taking relatively small actions. The common link for all of the individuals in this book is that to the core of their being, they all thought the impossible is simply the possible that hasn't yet happened. Despite being told they're mad, they're crazy, they're naive, they went ahead and took action and the world is a very different place because they did. What I love about this book, what's been fun to write and I really hope it'll be fun for readers to read, is realising how many different ways there are, these really tiny ways that can create huge change. If you're looking at a small gathering, a crowd, a mass movement, the basic component is one. It's the individual. If nothing else, that's one of the most important messages of this book. It's to remind us ourselves of what we're capable of. What really matters is ordinary people and what ordinary people have achieved.